Well, now you got a reason to go to Key West or not go to Key West. Either way, you're welcome. What's going on everybody? Mark Hyman with your MHN Horror Fact of the Day. Today's fact is part of a new segment called Horror Nouns. Like anybody who watched Sesame Street, a noun is a person, place, or thing. That's what I'm gonna talk about. Weird horror people, places, or things. Today's segment's a little both. It is on Robert the Doll. I don't know, I don't, I don't know why I made that weird look, but I don't know. it just seemed to fit, it just seemed to fit. Unlike this shirt which does not fit. But before you get to that fact, if you could be so awesome to stab that like button, smash that subscribe, and click that little dingy bell to be notified every time we drop amazing content right here on MHN. And hey, if you've already uh, smashed that subscribe button, go ahead and smash the share button. That'd be awesome too. Now back to the fact. Back in the late 1800s and early 1900s, there was a gentleman named Robert Eugene Otto, also known as Gene. Robert grew up in a very, very wealthy family, and uh, they had several different servants that were around helping out throughout the house. And uh, one of Robert's nannies was a practicer of the dark arts. Practicer? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, practicer. I'm going to go with practicer. That's a word now. She practiced hers. <laughs> she she practiced into dark arts, hoodoo, voodoo, and so on and so forth. And uh, apparently she was really upset that she was fired by the family. Upon her departure, she bestowed Robert with a gift, a doll, sailor-like doll that he quickly named Robert. Over the course of time, Otto would become extremely attached to the doll and uh, he would be caught talking to the doll and basically treating the doll like it was a real person. Also, a bunch of other weird shit was going on throughout the house. Um, things were moved around, people were even attacked. Um, things would get broken, and Otto's general odd fucking behavior towards the Dow. Even as Otto grew up, he never got rid of the Dow. He always remained next to the Dow. Very, very creepy, creepy situation. The Dow stayed by his side until his death in 1973. But it didn't stop there. The Dow still continued to fuck with the family for many, many years after that and fucked with anybody who came into the house. The Dow stayed in the house until 1994 when it was donated to the East Moleto Museum in Key West. And the Dow is still in that museum to this day with a bunch of warnings saying don't photograph the Dow, don't let the Dow out, and don't disrespect the Dow. And, uh, and actually, apparently, he's still running a fucking muck in the museum. A lot of security guards after hours have said they would come in at night and then the case would be empty. Kind of a big ordeal. Robert the Dow became so infamous within pop culture, it eventually led to the development and the starting idea of everyone's favorite evil Dow, big man evil Dow Chucky from 1988's Child's Play. Now it's kind of weird, but kind of want to visit this museum. Kind of want to check this Dow out, see where it all began. Be cool. It'd be cool. And that has been your MHN Horror Fact of the Day, and I have a comments challenge for all of you. What is one real life story that inspired a horror movie that you love and why? I, of course, will pick the very best comment and that person will choose a future topic for a future episode of MHN Horror Fact of the Day. Thank you so much and I will see you all next week. <laughs>kind of funny this always makes like it's Annabelle and him that like make the top 10 curse objects of all time um it's really really crazy like even people who really didn't believe in evil things and evil spirits have come face to face with this thing and been like yeah yeah that thing's scary that thing's very scary so uh so yeah uh I guess I gotta plan a trip to Key West go check this out and who knows after this fact you may want to as well